everyone, happy Worship Wednesday. My name is Sarah and I get to serve with our Accelerate Student Worship team as well as our Sunday service teams. And it's been so fun um, to get to worship and really redefine what worship looks like um, over this seven, um, almost two month period of time at home. And it made me think about what God calls us to in our worship and how he redefines even our prayers to him. Um, in Matthew, today I was reading uh, verse 6, 5 through 6, about what the model of prayer is um, through um, just what Jesus is talking about to his disciples and to the religious leaders of the time. And he says, And when you pray, you shall not be like the hypocrites, for they love to pray standing in the synagogues and on the corners of the streets, that they may be seen by men. Assuredly, I say to you, they have the reward. But you, when you pray, go into your room, and when you have shut your door, pray to your Father who is in the secret place, and your Father who sees in secret will reward you openly. And it really just lets us know that God doesn't want these grand, lofty prayers and words that we can't even understand. He just wants a conversation with us. He's a relational God, and that stems into our worship even. He doesn't want the best voice. He doesn't want those who clap on beat. He wants those who can raise their hands, who can lift their voices, however great they may be, to just bring him praise. And it made me think of this song, Heart of Worship, and how it says, um, I bring you more than a song, for a song in itself is not what you require. And it goes on to say that I'm going back to the heart of worship, where it's all about you, Jesus. And really, that's what this time is. We're going back to the heart of, what, um, of worship. We're going back to the heart of prayer. And we're redefining what prayer and worship can look like. And going to a secret place and spending time with the Lord alone is is glorifying it's the time that um in our conversations with the lord like he is excited just to spend time with us and so um let's pray together and i hope and then and i pray that you're encouraged that um you want to go and spend time with him and so let's pray together um, father we thank you for um, being a relational god we thank you that we don't have to say the right words but lord you just want to speak to us so Lord, in this time home, I pray that our worship and our prayers um, glorify you and that uh, we connect and grow closer to you in this time. It's in your name that we pray. Amen.